Well, good morning today. We had a little fun. It's just over at a friend's house this morning, real quick. He's tearing down his old satellite dish from the, I guess it'd be from the 80s. For a while there, he, almost all cable TV video was delivered by a satellite on C band. And about everybody and their brother had a C-band satellite in their backyard. Till uh, everybody and their brother that was a hotel decided to put them up and use it to enhance their uh, uh, business. And uh, satellite places decided that was a no-no, which uh, I really don't argue with. You know, there was a big argument about it, and finally they said, "Well, to be really blunt, screw you." We'll encode the video and you can buy the boxes to decode it. And that was the end of that party. Over the years, C band, I don't even know what's on C band anymore. For a long time, long distance telephone calls were on C band. And other data and pornography and religion and other just miscellaneous crap. It's just trickled down to nothing. I don't, I, I should look it up and see what the hell's on even on. There may not even be video on there. Used to be they were putting those satellites up exponentially. Now I bet 99% of that stuff's all digital. So anyway, he tore the dish down, and this is up in the uh, milk, what's called the milk stool. That's the the point where all the RF from the dish is concentrated, and the uh, antenna picks it up. He had a little scalar antenna, kind of a circular antenna. Anyway, this thing has been up about let's see, let's say 85. Uh, about 20 some years and I helped you put this up and I remember doing the fittings for the for the RF there was a little tail here that went from the LNA to a piece of heliax that went on into the house and well I take that back the heliax went down the milk stool to the back of the antenna where there was a little box and there was a converter in there, and then it went on into the house. Excuse me. Anyway, um, up in the milk stool part, this is just covered with a hood. There's no, and that's all there was. And it looks like it's fared pretty good for 35 years. Um, he said this was running when he just kind of lost interest in it. So now this part is where it went on to the heliax, and. Uh, I thought I'd take a look and see how 20 some year old tape job did. This was done with uh, Scotch Super 33, I believe. It's a little stiff. Now, this part actually was out in the elements, and there's a piece of uh, heat shrink over it that's really shrunk down tight. <clears throat> and I may have put some. Uh, yeah, this stuff is really brittle. I may have put some. A coating on the outside of this. What I was looking for is to see if there was any water intrusion into this. We had a lot of fun putting this up. Oh, I remember what I did. I put some, uh, I put some silicone, just um, what do I say, not uh, not the hardening kind of silicone, just silicone grease in there. Looks like it's held up pretty good. This part's a little stiff. Yeah, the part under the tape is actually somewhat flexible, so UV is taking its toll on that. And you saw that tape. Let's cut this side open and take a peek at it. Now this side was not covered with tape, but it was under a, a cover. There's a big hood on top of the milk stool. And yeah, it's got... Uh, yeah, this looks like, it looks like that fitting is coming apart. Now it's entirely possible when that got taken off it got spun.
And if I remember right, all this was brand spanky new when we put it together. Okay. And it's just the bushing and stuff. Yeah, the silicone grease is still down there. I don't see any corrosion anywhere. And this is all discolored. Well, it looks like it held up, so living proof if you do your connectors right. They uh, hang in there for umpteen zillion years. Yeah, that one's a little loose on there too. It probably these probably weren't probably weren't torqued down properly because I could just just about by hand remove these. So I guess I get a I guess I get a black mark for not installing the fittings with proper torque. Yep, it's just uh, nothing special there. It's just all trimmed down. So there you go. That's what a ancient end connector fitting looks like, and how it'll stand up to the elements if you do it right. Especially at those frequencies, might be a little fussy. Uh, this is like around four gigahertz, so. If there was going to be a screw up, he just saw it right away. Anyway, there you go. Just thought I'd show that to you. Take her easy. We'll talk to you later. Have a groovy day.